and it really does start with those seniors. And we've got a story coming up on Wyatt Lowhouse, but Wyatt and Miles, obviously tremendous impactful players for for this year's team and and two guys that'll be missed for sure yeah they they just they set a great example and they they did it every day and that's that's the thing that i kept coming back with uh back to with our guys and, and, and talking with the media over the weekend is you could count on these two guys every day yeah whether we had practice that day whether we had an off day in the classroom uh game day like you could count on those two guys uh, no matter what the situation is and that's that's great leadership all right here's a story now on you and i senior wyatt lowhouse UNI's Wyatt Lowhouse ended his college career with a 54-point Missouri Valley Conference tournament performance, highlighted by a career-high 27 points against second-seeded Drake and was named to the MVC All-Tournament Team. This five-year Panther was a part of two NCAA tournament wins and his role grew each year. Wyatt now plans to play pro basketball overseas and follow the footsteps of his dad Brad, who played 11 years in the NBA. I think one of the things I get the most enjoyment from in basketball is being able to connect with him and, and share these uh, you know, memories with him. So I'm glad he's as involved as he is with it. And uh, you know, I wouldn't want to change that. I wouldn't want him stepping back. A little known fact about the Iowa City West grad is that Wyatt was born in Miami when Brad played for the Heat in 1995. He truly was born into basketball. Yeah, it had a major part in me uh, loving the sport and wanting to play the sport and get involved in it. I think um, like a lot of kids, you know, my parents, I admired both of them and, you know, it just so happened that my dad played professional basketball. So I think I kind of just drifted towards that naturally. But, um, you know, just hearing stories from him back when he played, just, uh, you know, I was always drawn to it and it was always something I was really interested in. He used to work out with Larry Bird a lot. He'd tell me about, you know, them getting up early and, and running hills and French Lick. Uh, back in Larry Bird's hometown, so stuff like that. Um, you know, he's, he's been in a fight with Dennis Rodman. That's on YouTube. I've watched that a few times. Uh, he told me about the time that he uh, dunked on Hakeem Olajuwon and broke his rib. I actually broke Hakeem Olajuwon's rib when he dunked on him, and I've seen the tape of that, the proof to know he wasn't lying. So, As Wyatt continues to play basketball, he'll lean on his college coaches and his additional resource, his dad Brad. I pretty much know, based off the way I played, you know what the conversation is going to be. We've, worked, he's been working with me so long now that I basically know what what he's going to have to say before he says it. Usually, though, it's all positive. He he just wants me to play the game the right way and play as hard as I can. And as long as I'm checking those two things off, um, you know, the rest kind of takes care of itself. A sincere thank you to Wyatt and fellow senior Miles Winsing on their tremendous effort and impact that they gave the UNI basketball program. When we return, we have a final thought from Coach Jacobson on the season, and we look at the MVC award winner for the women's basketball team.